tuberculosis of the spine is uh, one of the very commonly dealt problem in our regular practice uh, especially in spine practice uh, after the lungs and the lymph nodes the vertebra is the most common part which will get affected with tuberculosis bacteria so most commonly the people who are in low socio economic status with poor uh, general health with low immunity conditions and overcrowded areas with less uh, ventilation and the light uh houses staying people are most commonly affected and most of the patients uh present with uh, pain in the back area especially in the mid back area which is very severe with the movement and all most of the times uh this tuberculosis is uh, detected with the uh, investigations like blood test x rays sometimes we may do mri scan so it's if you suspect the problem it's very easy to identify in early stages uh, most of the times around 90% of the times this uh, tuberculosis is a treatable disease with the medicines only 10 to 15% of the people uh, needs some surgical uh, interventions like some uh, operations uh, screw fixation and all so uh, if you identify in early stage most of the times this can be treatable with the uh, medicines so most common investigations what we do is blood test x ray mri and sometimes we'll do a biopsy uh, biopsy in the sense we'll remove a small piece of the bone and we'll send for testing for confirmation of the disease and to know the uh, drug uh, sensitivity because the most common drugs used in tb is uh, sometimes may work may not work so we need to check the resistance for that we'll take a sample and we'll send for testing according to that we'll give the medicines usually if the people taking medicine strictly according to the schedule most of the people will get better in one year time the one year is the minimum time what we follow regularly for a bone tuberculosis but if it is in case of lung usually we'll give for 6 months at the end of the one year we'll do the blood test and mri and we confirm the disease whether it's completely resolved or not then we'll stop the medication otherwise sometimes we may extend the medicines for another 6 months so people who needs the surgery that is the main uh, thing so people who are having severe unbearable pain people who are having any weakness in the legs or in the hands people who lost their urine motion control these are all the people who needs uh, surgical intervention in the form of screw fixation all those things but 90% of this uh, cases who identified in early stages just will treat with the medication and most of the pa- patients will get b- better with the medication after surgery if they are adherent to the uh, drug regime properly most of the people will get better after one year they can lead their normal life there won't be any uh, restrictions and all so there are some other varieties of uh, tuberculosis also is there which is called drug resistant tb multi drug resistant tb in that cases we may have add some more medications extra medications to control the disease they may need yeah more than one surgeries we may have to repeat the surgery sometimes we may have to extend the uh, indications for the surgery so if you I, most uh, if you identify the disease in early stage then it's completely treatable and very easily without surgery and if you delay more then definitely most of the patients may go for surgery